everyone welcome back to my channel so i'm going to show you guys how i turn some oatmeal into some waffles this is one of my breakfasts that i do like to make when i have the time in the morning it just takes a few ingredients so we can make just about one to two pieces of waffles i don't make a lot to eat so i'm going to show you guys how you can use this tiny little waffle maker that i recently got to make your own waffles in the morning for breakfast so let's get started so you're gonna need a few ingredients flaxseed cinnamon protein powder and some old-fashioned Quaker oatmeal oats so all you're gonna do is use these ingredients to actually make your mix so what I'm gonna do is use the oatmeal measure first and I usually measure when I do this two half cups of oatmeal this is only half a cup it's not a whole cup so this is one cup of oatmeal I'm gonna go ahead and blend this and make it into oatmeal flour. If you already have the oatmeal flour, that's great. You can use that. But if you don't like me, you can just blend this up with this Ninja little mini mixer. So you can go ahead and have just the flour base for it. And now that I have that all blended up, you guys can see it's pretty powder blended up almost like flour consistency. I'm just gonna pour this into my bowl so I can mix everything up. You guys can see, how it looks that's great for me i'm just gonna go ahead and add this protein powder now i'm adding this is a vanilla base i want to add one fourth cup to one fourth cup actually of it so i'll go and measure that amount and next guys i'm gonna add my flaxseed meal i blend this up to ground this as well so that way i'll have the brown flaxseed instead and just uh, instead of the whole and i add two tablespoons of flaxseed you can add more or less it's up to you and I'm gonna go ahead and add my cinnamon. Now I'm taking this top off because I do add quite a little bit and I'm gonna add, guys, when I do this, a whole tablespoon of cinnamon. Again, you can add more or less to your base mix and that's gonna be the mix. And I mix everything up until you can't see the difference. If you can see, it just look like this is just oatmeal and it smells so good. And you wanna put this in an airtight seal container because I don't make this all at once. I do store it in the fridge for later on. Now I'm gonna use this little waffle maker. I found this at Walmart, it was $8. I love this little thing. It wasn't hard to use at all. I got it not too long ago and I started using this. So this was the first time I was actually opening this to use it. So it was fun to make, but a little tricky in the beginning. So don't do like I did. I suggest you guys read the instruction because I'm horrible at this. It does come with plenty of instruction and it's super tiny, not big at all. If you do want bigger waffles, you might want to get something bigger. But for me, this works. And all you do is I actually, before I put oils in this, I clean it, guys. You want to go ahead and clean this and dry it off. And now after that, I'm going to go ahead and actually make my batter mix for my waffles. I do go in and only use one half a cup of this. This would be about for about three batch. I would make it and I go and use the Chobani whole milk um, yogurt. You can use a different yogurt if you don't want whole milk. And I'll use one fourth cup of that yogurt. You put the amount that works for you guys. Again, I'm using just one fourth cup measuring that. Make sure that it does go in there. It's enough. And then I'm going to go ahead and mix that all together. Now, depend how dry your mix is or if it's too wet, you want to add a little bit more mix or if you need to add a little bit more of the yogurt and i just mix this until it all gets mixed together and it gives me that taste i want that's that consistency for my waffles i've gotten a good idea now of how i want it to look and this is pretty much how i make my paste my little waffle mix now you can add different things at this point like honey i use i do that now but for this video i wanted to show you guys just a plain mix of just the batter and the uh, yogurt. Now guys, if you like so far my little mix and ingredients, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It does help my channel out a lot. And plug this in, let your little waffle maker heat up. I do add coconut oil in this before I actually put my little waffle and make sure it's on the top and bottom. Be careful guys, I did heat this up before I added it so it is hot. So don't just pick it up, make sure you pick it up on the edges like I do and just add it and let it sit now this was my first time using this so i was checking on the waffle make sure it wasn't burned it was cooking and at some point i realized that it was going great it was cooking just came back to check a little bit on it 
but it was doing great it was actually making that little waffle that i wanted so i just let it sit let the waffle maker cook and just waited for that to be over Now after it's done, I went ahead and just took my little waffle out. I did have enough to make one and a little bit more like a second small little small piece, nothing too as big as the first one. So I went ahead and finished that batter and made that little piece of waffle that was left. Once that's over, you take that little waffle piece out, add any of the ingredients you want to, add your topping, add anything you want. If you've seen on my Instagram, I do add like mangoes on top of that as well. A little bit of honey you can do peanut butter it's anything you want to add in there thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already of course subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you'll know when i have new videos out and don't forget to leave all of your comments down below and go over and watch my last video